also, I really want to point this uh, say, point to, to you guys, this idea is really awesome. You really know what's going to happen then. Like, never. Because if that think about it, um, was February 22nd, uh, first start earthquake. This was the second deadliest disaster in New Zealand. It killed tons of tons of people. Alright, so this occurred February. And April, within like two months, this was the largest tornado outbreak in the States, or in the history. And it killed like so many people in the States. And this happened in Missouri, Japan. And flood in Pakistan it killed like about 500 people. And a weird thing happened, right? Do you remember August 23rd in Virginia? Like we never thought like earthquake could possibly happen in Virginia. We do. And Hurricane Irene, it was crazy too in North Carolina. I killed like well, like. And in this country, like just like one hurricane can kill like this many people, 56. And that's at least, I wish it was more than that. And Thailand flood, and it's still ongoing, right? It's going to take forever. And Typhoon Palace, it was like so bad. And now Japan, I mean like some prefectures in Japan are still suffering a lot from this Typhoon Palace. And it was like after five months, the, you know, the earthquake hit Japan. So they were still like in the recovery process. And that I think thing, you know, just destroyed everything I think. Thanks a lot. And wildfires in Texas. It's insane. Like this year was like, especially crazy. And uh, if you I mean believe it or not, like 47% of 50 about 50% of uh, acreage burned in the U.S. is actually happened in Texas. So 50% of like wildfire you know, damaged air actually burned in Texas. It's like insane, like, really. And also, there was huge, you know, Turkey earthquake. And so far, uh, according to the latest news, it's more than 600 people are found dead. So, I mean, it's almost like every single month, like something major has ha you know, happened. And we never know when, you know, your place, your hometown, is going to be hit by something like this. And whenever I heard, you know, or watch the news like this, I always, always think of, you know, my friend. You know, like, I don't know, thank you for like, spending like, so much time in this country. Like, I've made like, many friends from like, pretty much everywhere. So I fear like, for their safety, you know, not like the country itself, more like their, their safety. And whenever you know, I see something like this, I feel like, man, like, I, should, I have to do something to them, you know? So when I was asked for donations, like, this is what I always felt. I was making money for my friends there. Not like making money for like that country itself, but more like feeling of uh, like doing something for my friends. So like to me, almost like my friends do represent like what the countries or regions or whatever they are. So when I heard like you know like you know the earthquake hit Turkey, like I like, thought about like my friends in Turkey and like who went back to there. The who just graduated you know, this year was like, man, yeah, like, are they okay? You know? So I don't know anything about Turkey, but I only know about them. And since I like them, I like that country. And the people's mind are that simple, like, really, believe it or not. So I associated the perception of my friends with the countries. And this is not true, you know, it's so biased. But I can't help it. I don't know anything. No, we don't, you know, it's so hard to actually understand what a country. So abstract and you cannot pinpoint like hey this is a whole new country. So you have to do some sort of like you know it's, it's really biased but that's the only way to grasp a whole new country. So it's what I'm pretty much this is what I'm saying. It's sometimes extremely difficult to feel personally connected with other countries. 
but we can deal directly with our friend. So this is my whole point. I have to think about how I should operate my country for my loved ones, not myself or anything. Because if something happens, you know, maybe it's possible that my friend or people who are, you know, like queer people, you know, know me, want to help Japan simply because of me. You know, maybe like, you know, there was a crazy Japanese teacher up there, so he was cool. So maybe, you know, all right, I can just make, you know, 10 cents for the first. Well, let's see, let's see, something like that. But at the same time, it's all maybe as likely that someone doesn't want to do anything for the first. Because I think, oh, I suck, you know. That guy was like, awful, oh, man. So like, we shouldn't do anything for that guy. So it's as likely possible. So that, what I'm saying is like, people to find a very, very simple. So in this world, right, we have to represent whatever our identities are. So maybe your race, countries, ethnicity, or whatever. And we are what our countries are to be for us. This is very, very important. You might not think that way now, but trust me, once you go to other countries, let's say you go to Japan, they think, okay, that's what Americans are. All right, that's what people from Texas are. And that's what they think, like really. All right, so Mexicans are cool. Or, you know, like anything, like really, it's like, it's really messed up, but you can't help it. So if something happens to your country, or maybe your region, or whatever you are, the people can possibly offer help, just simply because of you. And this is really, really the point I want you to drive home. Because it's not like our our state or anything, this is like how we should live your life. So, it's my best way. Oh, my answer, you know, my best way to support my country is uh, not me trying to dance or trying to like raise money so that I can blame to my country or not anything like that. I have to be whatever super cool unique Japanese for me. By being doing that, maybe I can, you know, can somehow ask my friends to be around me to do something for the in the future. Never know. So you might also want to think about um, what you are. You know, what names, brands, cultural values, like all kinds of like, you know, like identities, things like you wear. Without realizing that, you are actually revealing who you are, or where you're from, everything. Okay? So like, you know, maybe I'm like I'm Japanese, I'm crazy teacher. No too nice husband, my wife, but still whatever, whatever. But that's what I am. And that's how other people perceive me. So you know, it's more, almost like you are ahead of your home, your home country. Really. And since this world, there are so many diversities. Like so many people from like everywhere. So much diversity. So without, you know, really trying to do that, people just like you know, think, all right, people from your country are like that. That's why you're right. So make sure, whenever you go to other country, what even you are still in this country, whenever you are, you know, interact with others, that's what other people think. Spirit. So, you know, maybe someone, like, you know, I don't know, kids or whatever, will be safe simply because you are from your